Hi there, I'm Matt from Burson Waters Boat Sales here in Lincoln. Here's a short video showing on board our one owner, Jeanneau NC9. It's a 2019 build, and as I say, we supplied the boat brand new back in 2019 to the current owner. Um, so let me show you on board. So overall, she's in really nice condition. She's only done 150 hours on the engine, so she's very lightly used. Take you into the cockpit, you've got the teak um, that runs on the cockpit floor. And then you have got the nice option on here of the, uh, the back seat actually converts into a sun pad as well. Um, and there's also storage beneath the seats as well, which is nice. One of the great things about the NC9 is the side decks. So it's an asymmetric deck. So on the port side, you get a really a wide walkway. Um, still a decent walkway on the starboard side, but uh, just slightly less. Engine access is below the cockpit floor, uh, which we'll come on to a little bit later. But let's go inside the cabin now. So in, internally, she's got the upgraded walnut interior woodwork and the galley's on the port side. So underneath the, the lid here, you've got your two burner gas hob, gas oven, and your sink with hot and cold water as well. Plenty of storage as well. You've got a little bin tucked away in there and then you've got your fridge underneath there. As I mentioned, there's tons of storage and beneath the floor here, is one of the big selling points to the NC9. So beneath there, you've got huge storage and with some drawers in there as well. So for a 30 foot boat, it packs in a, a ton of storage. Just moving on to the saloon area now. A very versatile saloon. So obviously you've got two benches facing each other. But if when you're underway, the forward bench here flips over. So you've got a co-pilot bench. The backrest as well for the, uh, the aft seat as well also flips forward and all of these doors slide all the way across so you can actually sit facing out as well. Um, so when you're at anchor or in the mooring, it's a really versatile space. This boat here is fitted with the Wabasto diesel heating which runs throughout the, uh, the boats. Um, there's a vent in the saloon and one in each cabin as well. The NC9 and the NC range in general is perfect for the UK um, with obviously the doors um, you've got the opening roof um, and also the opening door on the port side as well. Uh, great boat for the UK, so on a nice day you can open it all up, it's nice and airy, but on, a, on the not so nice weather um, it makes for an all round year boat. Just taking you on to the helm position, so it's a really nice helm position, you have got the bolster um, and as I mentioned you've got obviously access onto the port side deck with the cleat close to hand, so if you're short handed boating it's very very good. You've got the Upgraded 12 inch Raymarine Axiom chart plotter. Obviously got your engine controls and your bow thruster as well. As I mentioned earlier, this boat's fitted with the Volvo Penta D4 260 horsepower engine um, and the engine hours are a shade over 150. Just taking you down below now into the cabin area. So up the front, um, you've got a really generous cabin up the front. So a good size double berth steps up on either side if you need to and then on the port side you've got the hanging locker in there as well and then the bed lifts up and you've also got a really nice storage locker in there as well there is an infill cushion in there so this bed is quite generous anyway but it does actually slide out um, so for the taller people amongst us there's an infill that uh, fits into there So the boat's 30 foot overall, um, and what's really good is it does give you a second cabin, sec second separate cabin, uh, with a small double berth in there. Great for kids or uh, the occasional visitors. There's a bit of standing headroom at the end of the bed, and there's a little bit of storage in there as well. As we move on to your heads, it's quite nicely appointed heads actually. So you've got, first of all, you've got an electric toilet in there that goes into a holding tank. And then you've got obviously your sink, and there is the tap there over on the far side that pulls out and hooks up onto the bulkhead for when you need it at the shower room. If we move on to the engine bay now. Fred can't Fred can't uh, open it so I'll do it for do it myself. So in here, 
as I mentioned, you've got the Volvo Penta D4 260 horsepower diesel engine. Really good space down there to work, so you've got loads of storage down there. And you can get down either side of the engine, so when you're doing your servicing or your daily checks, it gives you really good access. There's some really good service history as well. Um, the serv for last service on the engine was only done about three or four hours ago. Um, but I say it's got full service history from the main Volvo dealer. The boat's priced at 149,950. Um, and if you'd like any more information or got any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call. Yeah. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, one of the big selling points of the NC9 is, this, is the side deck on the port side. So it's an asymmetric deck. Um, this boat's got no canopy on at the moment. We can always add one, um, the bimini part and the enclosure if needed. Uh, but I say the, the current owner's never, never needed one. So if we take you down the port side deck, so you've got a really high rail to grab onto, and there's also a rail on the roof as well. And then up the front, you've got your electric windlass that can be controlled from up on the bow. Um, in the anchor locker, there's a, a remote in there, but there's also a, a switch at the helm position as well. As I mentioned, the, the side deck on the starboard side is still pretty generous, to be fair. Um, Obviously not as good as the port side deck, but, but still pretty good.